In the land of giants, one name towers above them all, Tyrannosaurus Rex, a name that echoes through pop culture, playgrounds and museums alike. With a reputation as the fiercest predator to ever walk the earth, T-Rex has inspired fear and fascination in equal measure. But how much of what we think we know is actually true? Was it really the unstoppable apex predator capable of chasing down jeeps Hollywood makes it out to be? Or has science uncovered a more complex and even weirder reality? Today on Prehistoric Fact Files, we're digging into the myths, the science and the jaw-dropping reality of T-Rex. With jaws strong enough to crush bone and teeth the size of bananas, T-Rex was built for destruction. But it wasn't just a mere brute, it was a complex predator with surprising features. Its name, Tyrannosaurus rex, means tyrant lizard king. It lived approximately 68 to 66 million years ago, during a period known as the Late Cretaceous in the Mesozoic era. It lived in an area that would be today North America, specifically Montana, South Dakota, Wyoming and Canada. It was about 40 feet in length, which is 12.3 meters, and its height at its hips was 12 feet or 3.6 meters. Its total height was 17 feet or 5.2 meters. It weighed roughly 9 tons and its diet consisted specifically of meat, making it an obligate carnivore. Its speed is estimated to be somewhere between 20 and 25 kilometers per hour, which is roughly 13 to 15 miles per hour, so rather fast. And its lifespan is expected to be somewhere within the region of 28 to 30 years, so it would have been quite long lived. T-Rex was first discovered in 1902 by fossil hunter Barnum Brown, the Indiana Jones of paleontology, called as such for his adventurous spirit and showmanship. He was the first to uncover partial skeletons in Montana. The species was officially named three years later, in 1905, by a man named Henry Fairfield Osborne. At first, it was reconstructed with an upright, tail-dragging posture. Basically, a giant lizard meets kangaroo hybrid, if you can imagine such a thing. If you've ever seen the old school stop motion movies featuring T-Rex, you'll likely be familiar. However, thanks to the decades worth of research and biomechanical studies, we now know that T-Rex held its body horizontally to the ground, its tail acting as a counterweight to its enormous skull. And T-Rex didn't just show up out of nowhere, it was the last and largest member of a group of theropods known as the Tyrannosaurids, evolving from much smaller feathered ancestors like Dilong and Guanlong. It took 60 million years for T-Rex to evolve into the tank-sized super predator we know today. Now let's talk about the business end, T-Rex's skull. It was over 5 feet long, filled with the aforementioned banana-sized teeth, some of which were over 30 centimeters in length. Unlike most theropods with knife-like teeth, T-Rex's teeth were thick and serrated, capable of crushing bone and tearing flesh. Its bite force was truly monstrous. Estimates suggest T-Rex could exert more than 12,800 pounds per square inch, or roughly 6 tons of pressure in a single chomp, more than any known land predator before or since. For context, that's enough power to crush the roof of a car. Its olfactory bulbs, the smell processes in the brain, were massive, giving it a supercharged sense of smell, rivaling that of modern day vultures, perfect for tracking prey over long distances or detecting carcasses. It is this very fact that led some to believe that T-Rex was in fact a scavenger. However, these days, most paleontologists agree that it was likely both a hunter and a scavenger. Because why not both? Food is food. And while its tiny arms often get mocked, they weren't entirely useless. Each arm was incredibly muscular and could lift over 400 pounds, and their reduced size may have actually been a feature rather than a bug. Some paleontologists believe shorter arms reduce the risk of injury during feeding frenzies, as well as allowing it to pin down prey or push itself off the ground. And lastly, T-Rex's vision was also outstanding. Its eyes faced forward, giving it binocular vision and excellent depth perception. So no, despite what Jurassic Park would have you believe, T-Rex wouldn't ignore you if you just stood still. You'd probably be making its next snack that much easier to get. As we've already mentioned, for decades, scientists argued over whether T-Rex was a scavenger or an active hunter. After all, if you've got a sense of smell that good, and the presence to scare off predators away from carcasses, why bother chasing anything? 
but fossil evidence tells a more nuanced story. We found healed bite marks on prey animals suggesting live attacks where the victim escaped, proving T-Rex didn't only scavenge, but it actively hunted as well. It was more than likely an ambush predator lying in wait patiently for the moment to strike. There's also growing evidence that juvenile T-Rexes fill a different role in the ecosystem. Leaner and faster, they may have hunted smaller prey before growing into the bone-crushing behemoths we picture today. Some even theorise that adult and juvenile T-Rexes occupy different niches, reducing competition within the species. Now then, what about feathers? Smaller Tyrannosaurids, like Eutyrannus, had full feather coats, and there's much speculation that baby T-Rexes were fluffy as well. But whether adults retained the feathers is still hotly debated. Their large size may have made feathers unnecessary for insulation, but small patches for display? That's entirely possible. There may have been small plumages on their forearms for mating purposes. Lastly, there's the question of group behaviour. Fossil sites with multiple T-Rex individuals suggest possible pack behaviour, or at least communal scavenging. Did they hunt together? Maybe. Did they squabble over kills like hyenas? Almost certainly. In the end, Tyrannosaurus rex is more than just a movie monster. It was an apex predator, a survivor, and a highly specialised product of evolutionary's brutal arms race during the Mesozoic era. And while we know more than ever before, there's still plenty left for us to uncover. Each new fossil brings fresh insights and further questions. Because T-Rex isn't just a relic of the past, it's a puzzle we're still trying to solve. Next time on Prehistoric Fact Files, we leave that land behind and dive into Earth's ancient oceans to meet a predator just as terrifying, Mosasaurus. Make sure to like, subscribe and hit the bell to unearth more ancient secrets, one creature at a time. Also be sure to leave a comment letting us know which prehistoric creature you want us to cover next. Until then, stay curious.